Hey, what's going on reefers? This is uh, Cholo Reefer here. I'm super excited today. Uh, I'm going to be starting a 14 gallon bio cube build. So when I first, I got this thing offer up for a hundred bucks. So when I first bought it, um, I didn't know anything about it. I knew somewhat about bio cube, but I didn't know that uh, there's two kinds, the LED kind and the uh, like fluorescent or T5 the T lighting uh, type. So this is the older style. And uh, when I was doing research on it, um, I went to my local fish store and I asked a couple questions about it. And I asked them, how do you know the difference between a 14 and a 16? Cause I didn't know which one mine was. And it was explained to me that the 14 gallon has the old style lighting and the 16 gallon has the LED lighting. So this is your 14 gallon bio cube. Um, I'm going to run through it and show you guys what upgrades and uh, what modifications I did on this build. Originally I was going to do like a, uh, a budget build but I'm just going to show you guys uh, what I did and stuff that I bought and what it cost me just because it was it's easier for me. So uh, to start off the bio cube was 100 bucks on offer up. Uh, one of these lights was broken or was out and I uh, I unscrewed I unscrewed all the screws. I took the cover off I put this light on this light just to see if it was the bulb or if it was you know something else and It was the bulb. I ordered a brand new bulb and Put it in I thought I was gonna be good to go and it didn't turn on So I took everything apart and I needed to replace the ballast in the back. It, it runs off two uh, light ballast. I had to order it off of Amazon. I replaced it. Once I replaced it, boom, everything worked. Uh, one of these LEDs was bad. So basically I had one light working, one LED working. And I had to replace one light, one LED. Did that. That cost me about, I think the light was... Uh, 25 and the LED was another 30 I don't know I'll, I'll look and I'll put it up on the screen in a little bit uh, I this was the old powerhead Coralife S700 I replaced it with the maxi jet 1200 so it's super easy to replace so I have to clean this tube or you just pop the tube uh, or pop this out from right here just pull it out it comes straight up and uh, it was a nozzle here but I replaced it I'll show you that in a minute uh, so I want the maxi jet uh, the Aquion 50 watt heater it's a 14 gallon so I, I'm pretty sure this will suffice plus I'm in Texas so it's always hot here uh, I was gonna go with a fan, but I saw uh, a YouTube video where this lady used this and uh, it worked great for her and um, I plan on having nothing but soft coral and LPS and so they don't like a lot of flow so I thought a fan and this would be way too much flow so we're gonna go with this see how it works, test it out and uh, maybe later on down the line if we have to we'll change. So I got digital thermometer I was gonna buy this in at the local pet smart pet co but geez their prices are ridiculous uh, I think I paid six dollars for this and I got two and they wanted six ninety nine for just one at the pet store so definitely do your shopping around because uh, you'll, you'll always find cheaper prices you know if you just do a little bit of shopping uh, this eco search protector has an individual shut off for each one so I went with this because uh, on my 150 gallon tank, you can see it over there, or sorry, 125 gallon tank. I have to go crawl underneath, unplug it, plug it back in, it's just a pain in the butt. So I figured, boom, just hit that and I turn my, you know, my power head off or, you know, whatever I need for it. Uh, I have another one of these laying around, so I just, if I need it, I'll use it. If I don't, I don't. So this one, there's big controversy about the Core Life, uh, the BioCube protein skimmer. Some 
people say it's a piece of crap. Some people, uh, actually, I think every video I saw, they said it was a piece of crap. But I just wanted some sort of protein skimming going on in the tank. So I decided to get it. We'll see how it goes. Uh, these are just some timers. It's a dual. This is a single. Um, it's a mechanical timer. I put it just to run the lights. Uh, I think I'm going to run one of the LEDs and one of the, or both of the uh, fluorescent lights on this one. Or, sorry, both the fluorescents on this one. Just so I don't have to come every morning, turn the lights on and off. I'll just have it set to a timer. And this one will run the LEDs. So I can run the LEDs an hour before these lights turn on and then an hour after I can have it shut off after an hour after these turn off uh, with the Carib C uh, life sand this is a 20 pound bag I'm pretty sure it, it'll be good enough for the 14 gallon but we'll see once we put it in there uh, and I think that's it Oh, uh, let me show you guys the stand. So BioCube sells a stand specifically for these, but I, I was trying to keep costs down as much as I could. I uh, had some spare wood laying around in the backyard, and I decided to make a, a stand myself. So let's go check that out. Okay, so here's the stand I made. Sorry if you hear that noise in the background. Uh, I've got some work going on in the backyard. but So this is the stand. Um... Uh, like I said, I had spare wood laying around the back and decided to make it. I think the only thing I purchased was that uh, knob right there and then the hinges to, to have it open and close. But uh, my wife, she wanted me to stain it gray. I would have preferred it black, but since we're both really into the hobby, to the saltwater, you know, hobby, I decided to let her have this one. Uh, here... It is on the inside. Uh, there's some ties in there. But it's got the shelf. Pretty much your basic can or stand, cabinet, drawer. But yeah, that's that. Sorry you see all those towels. We just have those there because my uh, dog just had a uh, litter of French bulldogs. But, yep. Yeah.